Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary. What's up guys, I'm back here in Tulyatan Marine Sanctuary. This is a very beautiful beach. This is a government owned and controlled park. The first time that I came here, that was on, on May of 2019. This is the nature of the park. It's lush, green, and filled with metamorphic rocks. Right now, I'm going in one of the iconic scenery here in Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary, which is their iconic rock formations. So, join me. Here you go. 
this is the perfect place for divers. The place may not be as beautiful as compared to other parks, but it has an iconic metamorphic rocks with crystal clear waters like that where you can see the bottom that to me looks shallow but it's more than 10 feet deep this is a highly protected area because this sanctuary is a major breeding ground of big fishes especially in that area where there are lots of sea urchins that can be found so follow me let's go to the iconic wrap Go oh, check this out. The iconic rock formations. Nothing has changed. And this is the ramp. You have to be careful because this area is very very deep. The time that I came here, there is a submarine rock over there that during low tide it emerged so using this ramp we can pull this ramp going from here going there and one of the key features of this rock formation is that there are so many wildlife to be found in this rock mostly crabs and other forms of shells they are endemic in this place that is why it is very important for the government to protect this shrine because without this the future generation can no longer enjoy this breathtaking place the most southernmost barangay here in Iloilo province because Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary is actually belongs to Barangay Sinubuhan in the municipality of Samakin Iloilo overlooking the famous yes see dudes you see that peninsula that is already the municipality of Anini here in Antique this place is very famous for each natural wildlife especially hiding underneath that metamorphic rocks the entire sanctuary is consists mostly of coral stones with mixtures of metamorphic rocks because in this part of Antique or part of Samakin in Antique here lies a submarine volcano a dormant submarine volcano that on its activity it causes a lot lesser earthquakes especially in that in that hill as I arrive here there are only seven people who visited this place including me while the rest lies over there with their families I went here for a solo trip because I just want to find peace of time and at the same time to enjoy myself being alone being a solo traveler is not easy because I can spend more than what I can I can I can save but then sometimes you don't need a company if you want to savor the moment being alone because sometimes in a group there are lots of distractions even though it can cut off your expenses for more than 50% but then if you want to meditate you can go solo or if you have a companion just stick to one here the water is still here and I will show it later 
the sea water is already itching me like this but that doesn't mean I want I don't want to go to the sea I will still go there and check how beautiful the underwater world There to be one of the deeper parts of the whole so let me try this one but hey I don't know how to swim so we have no points but to be careful because there's just a steep trench within this area enjoy Beautiful nature, scenic view between the sea and a limestone formations. This is in fact a giant cliff carved by the seawater millions of years ago. Now it is being protected because there are lots of century old trees like that. A bigger one and also this one. Tall not just tall but the root systems like this one prevents this part of the island from being eroded by the raging seas especially in this part of the Cyan Sea whereas there are lots of so much waves that during typhoon season it is very very strong like this one here in Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary you can find peace and healing because unlike in the city where seawater is very murky here in Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary the water is crystal clear you can see fishes freely swimming underneath that raging sea the place is kind of wavy because there is a strong current here in the Visayan Sea but you know if you're depressed if you're looking for peace of mind for a place where you can embrace your silence then this place is the perfect spot for you 
unlike in other resorts where they can do anything they want like loud sounds barbecue or any form of unpleasant behaviors which is okay for those people who love that here in Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary it's not allowed but if you're looking for peace of mind for peace of place for healing then you can swim here this place is under the protection of the municipal government so there is an assurance that this rich biodiversity place will be protected so that the future generations can see it as of this moment the waves gets even stronger because it's going to be high tide I think it's already in the peak of high tide as of this moment that's why can look at this the raft itself is dancing in the waves wow look at that Aha. nice 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 you know guys the first time that i go for an overnight swim here we used to pull that raft across to that rock formation which is you see that boiling part that, yes see that that boil where the waves keep some boiling there is actually a, a sunken rock let me see if i can see it yes now you see it look at that that rock is rich in what is so called sea urchins so if this raft is the main access going to the truck you can even swim by pulling a rope underneath the raft going there but the problem is that the current over there during high tide is very very strong but if that rock is exposed to the surface you can find so many sea urchins and some of them are edible let me see over there the rock and wow i can see sea urchins over there but sad to say no one is allowed to pick them up because this part is a marine protected area so no illegal feeding of wildlife the waves keeps on getting stronger Wait, look at that. We can see something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, sea slugs. There are so many sea slugs over there. I don't know if we just get to him alone, guys, because we are treating that house. Respect nature as it is. If you want to go to this place, always remember, take pictures as much as you want. But hey, 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 leave no traces. Yes, you heard me, you heard me guys. Leave no traces. Your garbage. Just take it home. Don't leave it here. What you see the beauty of this place. It should remain as it is. Remember that guy. Ayan, nakargami yung basi. 
Sina apa ini? Sukses di si Pablang Pan Pursoy itu ini Puno sukar kami itu Kayak angin langapan ini selama naga biaya itu Jalan mengkaga lagi dila Kaya namin sa mga Sa mga tradisyonal na niya Baidan ng gidiya sa kuwan ko naging karga sa ila Kaya mo yung style mo Mga sa pabi may ang buyer Ito siya dad Ang gusto yung bakas ang may kilala sa binsa Dari sa muna yung barangay Ang gusto nilang baka isda daw Kung mga binsa pa karga lang sa jeep Baidan lang daw yun sa kuwan Sa ginbaklan ba So ito ang bayad naman na Dito ang sudad Pro Palawan Kaya daw may mga Palawan pawn shop Kung sa lapit sa unan So it means Ang negosyo, sige sige, akong i-retain bilang tradisyonal Pero sa buong kondamang pula, ang aloy, sabi ko na nung ginapapara na siyang jeep Hmm Mas mayo pa ang jeep Ito dito sa may jeep store Actually, ang jeep nga sa Noakin Lawigan, makasabot ka niya sa super mo Doon sa kaparking, sa may tupad sa buong sang Robinson, kaya ang super Kaya ang super, kaya ang super, kaya ang super, kaya ang super Kaya ang super, 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 kaya ang super Ayang. Semua nak dia sepiak ke kebang sentinel dia semua nak dia 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 nak kisah subong. Subong sahur binsun selagi botang kaya kita kubah antar minat market mo. Nari no bed. Semua nak dia sepiak. Hmm. Perlu temporari lah. Perlu mas mana kaya convenience kaya simple yang majib nak tangan tamu dia kap. Iko. Still waiting for the jeep. I want to go back home riding in the fastest passenger jeeps in the Philippines, the San Joaquin Lawigan Jeep. So as I end my trip, I want to say thank you all for those who watch, keep, keep on watching my videos, for those who regularly follow me along the road or anywhere where I go. Thank you for the support. For, for these videos I may not be a good vlogger but I'm just doing my best to give you informations to share my experience with you guys on how I live my life and how I interact myself with nature because I, I, I myself as a human being I'm not separated with nature so while I'm still here talking to you guys, I'm waiting for a passenger jeep that will pass by here because honestly guys, this place is 74 kilometers away from Iloilo city and this road where this is the place where the fastest passenger jeeps in the Philippines pass along so I want to ride the San Joaquin Lawigan Jeep. <laughs>